even before your baby's born, you start imagining his future. What will his first words be? What will he want to be when he grows up? You watch in awe as your baby takes his first steps and begins to tattle all over the house. But what if this is the peak of your child's health? What if all your hopes and plans for the future are suddenly ripped away? Devastatingly, this is the reality for one in 3,500 parents of boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD. DMD is a fatal muscle-wasting disease caused by a muscle defect that makes the muscle more prone to damage during the contractions than enable us to move. So activities that we can do every day, such as walking, lead to extensive damage in boys in DMD. And over time, this causes their healthy muscle tissue to be replaced with fat and scar tissue, eventually causing the boys to lose their ability to walk. And sadly, most boys die in their mid-20s. And despite extensive experimental research, there remains no effective treatment. Even the recently FDA-approved drug to fix this muscle defect has not yet shown any clinical benefit. And one of the reasons that DMD is so hard to treat is that multiple factors contribute to this degeneration, such as an increased susceptibility to damage and chronic inflammation. And because these factors and many others all likely play a role, it's difficult to discern what the best targets for therapies are. Additionally, the design of these therapies is typically done through expensive animal experiments and lengthy clinical trials, restricting the discovery of new effective treatments. However, computer models are not confined to these limits. So for my PhD, I'm developing the first multi-scale model of skeletal muscle to represent the degeneration in DMD. So far, I've built and validated this model to predict how much damage occurs in a DMD muscle during everyday activities. I'm now using this model to test the effectiveness of therapies by simulating a potential treatment and analyzing how it affects degeneration. By using a computer model, we're not only saving valuable time and resources, but we're able to simulate hundreds of potential therapies, a task that's not possible with experiments alone. For example, if you imagine that it takes three months to test a single drug experimentally, and you want to test 100 different treatment options, it would take you 25 years to determine which of those options was the most effective. However, with our computer model, in a single day, we can test 100 potential therapies, giving us confidence that we're determining the most effective way to treat this devastating disease, and ultimately accelerating us on our path towards restoring the future for boys living with DMD today. Thank you.